see what I have to deal with. This is what I have to deal with. <laughs> oh dear. You're such a blooming special, Larry, I swear. There you go, that is looking a bit fresher, isn't it? Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. <laughs> Look at that happy face. There you go, it's nice and warm for you, isn't it? What's up guys, Beaver up here and I am about to clean out my little buddy Larry. Yeah, his Viv's looking a little bit messy and it's time for a full clean out. So yeah, he knows, look. You know, don't you buddy? So yeah, we're gonna give him a full clean out, a little bath. Come on then buddy, let's get you out. And put the glass somewhere fairly safe where the cats won't blow and knock it over and break it. Cause that wouldn't be good, can you imagine? Come on, you're going on an adventure. <laughs> you're going on an adventure. Where do you want to go? Do you want to sit on my shoulder or do you want to wander about the floor? Hmm? Yeah, this is Larry, my bearded dragon. He's a couple years old now, to be fair. But yeah, you're sure pretty, aren't you? Yes. Where do you want to go? Do you want to go on the floor or on my shoulder? Hmm? Where do you want to go? Why are you being shy of the camera? There you go. Um, I will turn that beeping off in a second. That beeping is basically telling me that the temperature in the view is dropping. But obviously it's dropping because I've got the door open. Come on in, bud. Let's stop that beeping first, to be fair. There you go, a bit better about the beeping in it. Empty everything out. But honestly, he makes such a mess. I don't know how he does it sometimes. Where do you want to go? You want to go back in your bib? Well, you can't go back in there, can you? <laughs> you cannot go back in there, can you? I'm now cleaning you out. Now you're tangled in my hair. That's my hair. That's not your hair, that's my hair. That's mine. You can't go back in there until I finish cleaning you out. You know the drill. Come on, back on her shoulder. There you go. That's... You see what I have to deal with? This is what I have to deal with. <laughs> oh dear. You're such a blooming special, Larry, I swear. Literally, not a normal bearded dragon. You can't really sit on my head, can you? Alright. You're gonna stay there this time. You're gonna stay there while I take your sand out. Because he like runs in his veg so much and his veg just goes everywhere. Even though I sieve the sand all the time, he still gets little bits of veg just like drying up in his sand. Because you're painting a bomb. I normally use like the dustbin and brush pan to get most of the sand out. Um, and then afterwards I'll like use the hoover just to sweep up any like remains. So I can actually give it a good, proper, deep clean. There you go, he's just settled on my shoulder now. That's better, isn't it? <laughs> better than running around like a mental for me. And then luckily my hoover's got one of those like bits where you can just attach bits to, so I've got the small one. And then I normally use that just to get like the remain and sand off. Although I should probably empty that, that's a little bit full of cat hair because uh, I've got two cats as well, but oh well, I'm sure it'll be fine. There you go, that's why full cleans are necessary. Because even though you like scoop their poo out and stuff, like underneath the sand, it still kind of like seeps in. So yeah, a proper full clean disinfectant needs to be done because look at the state of that. And then I've got me some reptile safe disinfectant. Um, 
because yeah, I wouldn't want to use normal ones just in case. Like always give it a proper good spray and clean just to make sure getting all those little nooks and crannies. The amount of times as well I've accidentally like been cleaning this and nearly touched the heat bulb. <laughs> I've been so close touching that heat bulb so many times and yeah that would not be good. They do get blum or not they do. There you go, that's a bit better in it. All them poop stains gone. So Larry's decided to go on the other shoulder. So unfortunately he's not facing the camera anymore. Although I can. There he is! <laughs> There's my little buddy. Oh, it's not ready yet. It's not ready yet, buddy. You can't go in there yet. Do you ever wander around the floor for a little bit? Do you want to go for a little walk? Here you go. No, you want to just... What do you want to do? Do you want to go for a little walk on the floor? Get a bit of exercise. Right, let's chop some sand back in there. And I'm going to need a knife to open this bag. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Works well. So I know sand can be frowned upon. Um, with sand you do need to be a little bit careful because some bearded dragons will end up like eating it and ingesting it and then they can get impacted. And yeah, that's definitely not good. But it is very bearded dragon dependent. So some babies are fine with sand, some aren't. Larry is fine with sand, um, he doesn't eat any of it and when I feed him, I kind of feed him through the actual like tubs as well so because of that he doesn't ingest anything so yeah be careful with sand because it's not good for some beardies but I'm lucky that Larry is completely fine with it so I am all good oh you know what it's so satisfying putting in nice, soft, clean, fresh sand. <laughs> it's so satisfying. But it feels blooming amazing. Look at that. That looks a bit better, doesn't it? Where is Larry? Is he amongst all of my mess on the floor? Oh, there he is. Hello, buddy. You having a good wander around? Don't go in there. That's the bin bag. That's the bin bag, buddy. Yeah, he's getting some nice exercise whilst I'm cleaning out, so that's all good. Now I've given all of the bits and pieces I keep inside his bib a little clean as well, just to make sure they are all good. So I'll chuck everything back now. Also, it's fun and sweating doing this, because <laughs> obviously I've got the heat bulb there and that is very hot. I am blum and sweaty betty. There you go, you've got some leaves in there. Put your bit of wood back. What else we got? We've got a little stone for the back there for him. We've got a raised one under the heat lamp so we can bask. Then I'm going to quickly just clean out his bowls again because within the uh, few hours since I cleaned them this morning, he's ran blowing stuff all in him. A little messy. So let me go and clean those quickly. There's your water bowl with some fresh water. There's your bowl for your veg. So he just decided he wants to come and climb up me again. I'm guessing he could probably smell his food. Because he actually really does like his veg. I normally do like three different types of leaves. A bit of cucumber, a bit of tomato. Hold on buddy. There you go, a little sprinkling. There you go, that looks yummy, isn't it, bud? There you go, a little sprinkling of Nutribol on there as well. And then, you need a bit to go back, buddy. 
Oh, look at that. That looks bloody yummy, actually. Like, I'd eat it. Maybe not with a neutral bowl on it, but <laughs> can you imagine? I wonder what it tastes like. Nah, I better not. There you go. That is looking a bit fresher, isn't it? Thank you, go. No, you just want to sit on the hand? Look, there's some yummy veg. <laughs> He's like, no, I want to stay on you. <laughs> He is thinking about eating some veg. He did have some this morning though, so he might not. He does look yummy though. Yeah, no, he did actually pick out on load this morning, so you might not want any veg, mightn't you? But I know what you do want. You definitely want some crickets, don't you? Or some hoppers? Or do you want some worms? What do you want, crickets, hoppers or worms? You're not having all three. I know that look. I do like to give him a little run about for some worms. Look, there's, there's one right there. There's one right there, bud. There you go. I do like to get him to kind of run around and chase them a little bit. <laughs> hey, Ziggy, hey, Tinky Toes. Hello, buddy. Yeah, the cat's and him absolutely fine, just as an FYI. Although I'd never leave them together just in case, but they are completely fine. But yeah, I like to throw some worms about, get them to have a little, little run about, a little bit of exercise. You have to ignore all the um, plucks on the floor on the carpet. That is uh, one word, two culprits, cats. <laughs> <laughs> he loves it. Should we get him some Morio as well, shall we? Should we get him some bigger boys? There's not actually loads left in here, to be fair. Oh, that's a juicy one. Oh. Here he comes. Is that one yummy? Is that a yummy one? I'm gonna need to get some more soon, I think. Oh, he hasn't seen that one yet. Oh, he's looking below him. Oh, there he is. Eight in it. Oh, this is a good one. Oh. <laughs> Go on, bud, finish that one off. I want it half of it. It's over the other side. There he goes. He's got it. Do we give you one more, bud? Then you can have a little wander about on your own terms, can't you? There's one right here, look. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. <laughs> look at that happy face. Look at that happy face. It's now time for Larry to have a bath. It's bath time, buddy. He's a little bit indifferent about having a bath. He's not, he doesn't like it, but he doesn't dislike it. I do slowly lure him in, cause yeah, he's not always immensely keen. See, look. <laughs> See, that's all not that bad, is it, hey? There you go, it's nice and warm for you, isn't it? Yeah, some babies like love having a bath. Some babies hate it. He is just not too fussed. He doesn't sort of go around splashing about. He just sort of sits there normally. Don't you, bud? Don't you, buddy? A nice warm bath is good for him anyway, because it helps him poo, helps him shed, helps him drink. 
Yeah, he's probably just gonna sit there. He's full blown pancaked. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that pancake. Look at that flat gut. <laughs> Look at you, you little special. Oh, oh, there it is. There's poop position. That is prime poop position, that is. <laughs> God damn it. Larry. I mean, it's good. It is good that he's pooping, but that means I'm not going to have to clean it and then bath him again. <sighs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Cheers for that, mate. <laughs> God dang. There you go, that's better. Back with a nice clean bath again after you've done your humdinger. That's a bit better, isn't it? He's like, what are you looking at? I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. And you want some hoppers? Do you want some locusts, do you? There you go. Oh, one's jumped out already. Oh, no, no, you can't get them from there, can you? Get them from the top, look. There you go. <laughs> oh, dear. You try to get them through the blown plastic. Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, God. Is that nice? Is one below your leg? There you go. That's probably enough for now, isn't it? I've actually just bought some of this. It's called Nature Grub. You basically just put it in with all the bugs and the bugs then eat it to help give them your reptiles and stuff some better nutrition. I normally just put like veg and some fruit in there for them to eat, but yeah, I thought I'd give this little neutral grub a go. Yeah, and this is the little cupboard look. Crickets, worms, hoppers, more worms. <laughs> oh, they've literally got their own blooming cupboard. Are you going to say bye for the camera? Are you going to say don't forget to like and subscribe? <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.